Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. Today we're talking about pictures again. This is Steve is one of the more popular episodes that we do. It really is. People want to see their stuff on this show. This is our 24th episode. Yes. Of this? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. And we we'll probably do a, like a dozen helmets per episode. Yep. So if you want to see what's out, what other people are doing to their helmets, not just the guys and the pros, this is kind of the series that you want to check out. Exactly. So, thanks for showing up. Yes. Steve, you're going to tell them where they can go. Email them to picks at greengridiron.com. Just send them in an email. Be patient. It might take a couple of weeks, but we will get to them. We are still getting a lot. Uh, all right, let's go. First up, Mark. All right, Mark, let's see what you got here. All right, so. Okay, this is almost not fair. I agree. Uh, because this is actually a legit helmet. I don't know who Mark is, but this looks like a real helmet from Virginia at the game. I'm assuming that a touchdown was scored. Here we've got fireworks going off, yeah. or they won. Actually, they, they must have won. Oh, they're rushing. But this helmet is put together by a professional. I agree. I mean, there's lots of little things, Jay, from the unbranded clips to the upgraded buckles and all that good stuff. And the photos, the timing of it with the fireworks. I mean, this is a great start to this show. Yeah, absolutely. So this is obviously, I'm, let's go over the helmet a little bit. So we got an ACC front 3D bumper. We've got the decals are obviously all spot on. It almost looks like the stripes are painted on, which are something that would yes. be done from the factory. So those look great. Decals are great. I love the big number on the side. Uh, we've got unbranded Under Armour clips. We've got a shock visor. We've got Navy Sports Star buckles on there. Fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm grading this as a college professional helmet uh -huh. as far as all the pieces, the fit and the finish. Yeah. And I am going to go, I'm going to go high on this one. I'm going to go with a 9.2. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Nice. It's not, I mean, it's not, it's not a, it's not a wrap or anything like that, no. but it is clean and detailed yeah. and looks Fantastic. Looks like it's never been on someone's head. I agree. And the pictures are awesome. I love that they took it and set it all up. So great. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, Next nice up, job. Benson. Speaking of cool, look at his paint. Is that nuts? And the color scheme, the face mask. I'm feeling this one, man. All right, Benson. So we got a lot going on here. Yes. Um, cool paint job. Yep. We've got Oakley visor. It appears that we've got a shock insert in that visor to give it that gold look. I don't know if the visor, I don't think the, those are available in this color, mm -hmm. right? So I'm, I'm guessing this is an insert on the inside. We've got Under Armour uh, face mask clips. We've got a Zooty face mask. This is a Crusader. We've got safe clips on here. We've got blacked out bumpers and components. I don't have a, a view of the back of the helmet. No. Everything on here looks great. looks like we have an it looks like there's a is that an Under Armour sock on top of the chin strap. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this looks like the stock ratchet strap. We even have two different colored Oakley tabs, tab stickers. Yeah, it's super super cool. The color scheme is nice. The helmet is nice. The face mask is really upgrade. This is an expensive helmet too. All done the way that it's done with the clips. Oh yeah. This is one safe piece of equipment too. I like this one. What do you think? Uh, oh yeah. I, I, there's almost more, I would say the cost of the components on this helmet are the same or more than the cost of the helmet. Definitely. Yeah, so this is a lot of, a lot of upgrades on here. I'm going to go out of the gate just because of all of these upgrades. That's a lot of, a lot of bonus points. I'm going to go with a 8.1. Yeah, yeah. You want to get up into the nines, we've got to have decals. <laughs> Soon. Uh, we're, we're rolling today, man. Next up, Caleb. All right, Caleb, you are appealing to Steve's nature side. I love that background. We got a Shock 1.0 visor. We've got an S2E GSP face mask. We've got an Under Armour chin strap. Uh, no bumpers or decals on the bumpers. We got matching chin strap color to the face mask and to the decals. The decals almost look like they're the white and the WKY is like reflective a little bit. Oh, yeah, it does. You're right. Maybe. Paint job looks like a reconditioned paint job. Uh, overall, it's pretty basic. I, yeah, you got a, a visor in there, and that's good. I'm going to go with a 6.2 on this guy. As far as the photos are concerned, 
just keep doing what you're doing. That looks nice. Nice work. Next up, Dylan. Oh, and he's got his little buddy in there on the bottom. Yeah. Again, appealing to Steve's <laughs> soft side. Yes. Loving that backyard, man. So I just like the simplicity of this. It's obviously yellow and green. It looks awesome with that yard. Pictures are really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a couple of things right out of the gate. The first thing I noticed in here, obviously, is this is kind of a Green Bay Packers color scheme. I'm wondering if this is in, in uh, that part of the country uh, or if it's the, any connection to that whatsoever. Decals, what we have here is we have ink printed on clear decals. You can kind of tell from the white. So when the white doesn't really pop. Yep. That means that it's white ink printed on a clear decal. There's nothing wrong with that. There's professional teams and colleges that do that. Obviously, that's what we see going on here. We can tell by the way that the decal, the stripe decal is cut. This is one big decal. This yeah. isn't three separate ones. So you typically only see NFL teams that will, will would split this up into three different decals. Uh, that's what we do here on the show whenever possible. It, to me, it's actually easier to put on that way, Yes, uh, believe it or not, even though you're doing three instead of one. But the wider that decal gets, the more difficult it gets to kind of get all the pieces of the decal to wrap around the helmet properly and then stay down. Yep. Uh, everything else about this helmet is super clean, super, um, you know, it, all the colors, everything go well, really well with each other. You got Speed Flex and you got a Speed, you got a Nike visor in one. They both have matching hard cup chin straps. Uh, Steve, how do you feel you got rabbit ears on one and, and no rabbit ears on the other one? You know, it's funny. I, I like the Speed Flex, but in this case, I actually like the Speed better. I, I think it's a combination of the closed face mask and the black clips mm -hmm. on the visor, the visor tabs. It just looks tough. I, I really like it. But I think as a pair, these guys are getting a bonus because they're both super clean and look great together. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with a 7.1. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty high considering how we don't have a whole lot of extra components on it. But I think that they just look they just look really clean. Yep. And again, great work with the photos. Uh, next up, Franz. So now, Franz has sent in photos before, and he answered um, a while back. He sent in a helmet that had a B and B, and he said, mm -hmm. "Yes, that is a sponsor. They are in Germany, mm -hmm. and that's a chain of hotels there. That's like massive company that is their sponsor." Well, Franz, thank you for getting back to us, and thank you for submitting another photo. Is this the same photos that he submitted before? No, or no. Or different? Totally different. Totally different t everything. So we got a Riddell Speed Flex helmet. We've got a blackout package on here with the bumpers. We've got an Under Armour visor with Under Armour clips, a shock insert in yellow or gold. Uh, this is the Coyotes, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And then it looks like, correct me if I'm wrong, is that a female head I, I, like a ponytail I'm not sure I I think so I get the outlaw part with the hat and the covered face but I, th I maybe it might be my gut is telling me that it looks like it's a female head so now we have more questions for you Franz is this your helmet I guess you could be a female hmm. with a name like Franz I True. don't I would suspect not though uh, on the back of the helmet we've got a Germany flag we've got a couple of different NFL decals or stickers. I'm wondering, do you have a connection with the NFL or one of the teams, or are you just picking these up off of eBay? Crucial Catch was for cancer awareness, like pre-screening, which I think is what they wear in October, October. so we'll probably start seeing those yep. here pop up soon, if they're going to do the same ones for this year. I know that's what they wore last year, but then the uh, military, or the camouflage ribbon, that was going to be worn in November for military appreciation gotcha. games and all that. You know um, what, I, what I notice on this that I really like a lot is the, the stripe is painted. The stripes are painted. I just think that looks mm -hmm. really nice. And again, great pictures. What do you give him, Franz? I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with a 7.1. All right. I like it. Yeah. Next up, Buddy. One picture, but it's a collage. This started out as the orange helmet. His son switched schools, had it conditioned, reconditioned to this color. He did the face mask himself. He said he painted it. The and first thing I was going to notice that, that jumped out at me was that face mask color is not a stock color. Right. Actually, the, the yellow that we stock and that what is what almost all teams use is actually far closer to the color of the school bus. Mm. Uh, which is green bay gold or athletic yellow. 
It's the same color the Redskins use. Um, so that color is it being spray painted. It's going to come off. You're going to have you're going to have problems with it over time. You're not yes. going to be happy. So when you get to that point where your your non happiness has gone oh, yeah. to the end of its rope. Send us the mask. We can make it whatever color you want. Uh, well, you're going to piss off the other team because that yellow is going to rub off on their helmets. Not only their helmets, so, but their jerseys. They're going to have a hell of a time yeah, getting it out. Be careful. Yeah. So overall, though, here's the thing that I like about this. Because it's not all bad, Steve. Right. We have an orange chin strap that matches the orange helmet. We kept the orange chin strap. I think that that's super cool. Kind of harkens back to mm -hmm. the roots of the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, thus far, I'm going to give this helmet a. I'm going to go really low here. I'm uh -oh. going to go with a six. Oh. I'm a six point oh. I knew you and, were going to do it. I think that's fair. But I want to see what this helmet looks like once you get decals on yes. it, and see what we can bring it up yeah. to. That's right. Yes. All right. Next up, Gabriel. I think that's cool. I like the color scheme too. It is a cool paint job. Uh, this is a Shut Vengeance helmet. And we've got what appears to be a Nike visor in there. I can't tell if there, yeah, that's a swoosh mm -hmm. on the tab as well. Uh, oversized decals. Here's the problem that we have with oversized decals. And this isn't really, I wonder if I consider this oversized. I would call, consider, consider this a large decal. And you, you can tell from the side shot right where the it, it doesn't want to lay flat. Yeah, it's because huge. Because you you're taking a flat printed piece of vinyl that's 20 mil, super thick, yeah. and you're putting it on a, a globe, a, a round object, and it's just not going to go down all the way. So that's a problem that we see. The bigger the decal is, the harder it is to get all those pieces to lay down the way you want them to lay down. Got a little bit of a, you know, trouble putting it down there. There are some tips and techniques to try and uh, reduce the probability of that happening. But I'll tell you, we've put on plenty of oversized decals, much bigger than this one. They're always a pain in the ass. So we got a, we got a matching chin strap. I don't know what type it is, but I can see that the, the strap in there, so it must be tucked up into the helmet. I'm, I'm gonna go with, you know, the Vengeance helmet, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's kind of, a, to me, it's getting a little bit long in the tooth. It's been out for a while, but Shut does keep coming out with, you know, they keep upgrading the options for the Vengeon helmet as far as the padding on the inside. I like how substantial and beefy these look though. I, I oh, do. Yeah. I think that they just look like a truck. They're just Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. But I know that people the people who use them love, love them. them. Yeah. So I am going to give this guy a six point three. Okay. We're we haven't been below six yet. Let's see no. what happens. Let's we'll see, see what happens. Let's see if we can do it here. I'm gonna Next up Boone get, get into the fours. This might be Boone Homie. I'm not sure. I've seen him comment a whole bunch. This just says Boone. Okay, so we're gonna get an average here. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got what appears to be helmets that he has made himself, or he's purchased, or somebody was made, I, or these came from the locker room, because these are helmets that, none of these helmets are officially licensed, I do not believe. I would okay. agree with that. And, and I. It, Look at that big, massive one on the right, yeah. man. Yeah, that, yeah the, well, the two, on the, the one in the center and the one on the right, those are DNA helmets. Actually, the one on the right is an adult DNA. The one in the center looks like a youth oh, DNA or a hybrid or whatever the hell Shut's calling them these days. Almost looks like an it, XL. Uh, it's big as hell, that one on the right. It's not. <laughs> and we can tell that it's not an XL because it doesn't have an XL face mask on it. Oh, that's crazy. Well, because the XL face masks do kind of have a tell oh, to yeah? them. I'm trying, yeah, yeah, the DNAs have XL, a whole XL line of masks. The thing is just too huge. I, I mean, the it, color scheme is nice with that big, fat stripe. looks sweet, though. Yeah, Georgia was one of the first teams to actually put a stripe on the helmet. They said it had some issues because they didn't paint it very well, and the, oh, the, the paint no. was, it was like shattering off. It wasn't it like just transferring off. It was actually popping off the helmet in the game. Yeah. Uh, if you look super, 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 super close, you might be able to see some of that happening. Um, the helmet, the, the red helmet, or the all red helmet, the white stripe, it's got the legit flag that Georgia wears, which is mm. kind of the wavy flag decal. It's got the white and black dog bone award decals. It's got a number on there. That is telling me, you got two helmets here, both with the number 27 on them. I'm wondering if these are helmets that, I mean, they gotta be made for a specific player. I'm wondering if one of these 
came from the team. Uh, we've got a sports arch chin strap on one of these, an Under Armour chin strap on the other two. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are kind of done up pretty, for what they are, they're done up pretty nice. It's not, you know, the helmets aren't my favorite types of helmets. No, no. You know, and that is, is what it is. We'll Average score on these, we've got a lot of good stuff on here. I'm going to go with a 7.4. Nice. That's high praise for those helmets. Uh, meaning not your favorite style. Yes. <laughs> Next up, Christian. Christian. So we got another vengeance on our hands here. Vengeance. I day. don't like that uni clip. I don't I even. I don't even. Here. I can't even ever remember what the actual name of it is. It's the that, big thing here. Yeah. I just don't like them. I don't. I, I, I don't, don't like either. working with them. Because I don't like working with them, I have convinced myself that I also don't like the way that they look. <laughs> I like the overall so, look of this design. Black, white, and green. So cool. That I do like. Yeah. I do like. It's and proper. what we have going on here is we have the 34 that is white vinyl, mm. where the side decals have white in them that is white printed on clear. You're right. That's fine. So it's fine to mix and match like sure. this. Actually, I appreciate that. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, Vengeance, again, not a, it's not winning over the, any great looks competitions right. for me. We got an Oakley visor in there. Um, if this was my helmet, or if we were working on this helmet, I would convert the face mask clips on the top. I would actually, this one I'd probably put, would go with black clips. Um, I'm going to go with a score here, Steve, uh, six point two mm-hmm mm -hmm. anyway, I think that's fair yeah I was afraid yeah. it might a, lot be a, five. a lot of a lot of shots yes in this round all right all right next up we got Zion all right Steve Zion's going Dutch a little bit it's going super Dutch um, that's a little too much of a tilt if you're trying to go for that nice angle I would say just my personal taste and Technically, it's too much, but if you like it like this, good for you. Aside from that, nice focus, nice and centered, looks good. Um, not much else I can say about the pictures. He made it on the show. <laughs> uh, would you say this is cell phone or camera? You know, if it's a cell phone on portrait mode, it's done perfectly, but you can't tell. I love it. I love the way the visor I, looks. I don't know how I feel about the Dutch stuff, Steve. I know you like it. I, I don't know. It doesn't really do it for me, but the, the front photo, I like a lot. It looks like it's framed nice. I mean, everything's super tight on it, so it's yeah. framed nice. Um, it's so close and tight, though, that you can see the imperfections or, or that the in the visor not being perfectly clean and crisp, but I like nice wet visor shots yeah you like that I, high, I, high contrast so i do like it but i also see the imperfection and i don't like that i wish there was a few more photos but i you know there's things going on here like the visor clip decal covers and that, yep and so that we got kind of under stuff. armor so we got a shock visor with under armor clips and then we've got a white decal that covers up the logo so we sell these in like five to five or six different colors now yeah. those little decals that go on there uh we only got shots from the front of the helmet so we really can't give a grade or score or anything on this. You can't really see what's going on much on the side decals. We got either a, a lion, a tiger, or a monkey. I I'm would not, have said I'm this. Not, I'm not sure which. I'm going lion or monkey. <laughs> um, monkeys would be cool. It would be. You don't see many teams that adopt the monkey mascot. I know, which is like, that's a shame. Oh, poor little monkeys. <laughs> uh, and we don't know what's going on in the back either. It, I can't tell on the top of the helmet that if that is the uh, flat paint chipping off and showing the gloss black underneath. Yeah. Or if it's wet. Or it was a hidden. decal that they removed and that's leftover adhesive. Possibly. Again, knowing what we know and there's things out there that we don't know. I mean, sometimes that's good, sometimes not. But I'm going to go with a 6.5. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. All right, last up, Steve, we got Colton. Here's what, here's one. I like this first shot as my favorite picture on here. We've got an unbranded Under Armour clip, which is what it looks like. We've got a thin red stripe flag. Um, so that's cool. I've I don't, never seen anybody do that. 
put an American flag on the visor tip. I've have. never seen or that. Not. And can't. this is for firemen. You know. yep, so we got a, a Florida decal on the back. So the story is starting to come together. Typically, there's got to be a connection to Florida if you're going to put a one Florida decal on the back of your helmet. Yep. Got to be a possibly connection to firemen if you've got a fireman decal on that. So is this a fireman's league or a league that has um, firemen in it in Florida? Maybe. I don't know. TX face mask, my favorite. And one more thing, it's got rear uh, bumper decals. I can't see what they are, but they're there. Yep. That's I, not common. I do not like the front bumper decal because I it agree. doesn't cover up I know. the Riddell underneath. But the Riddell underneath is black, not red. But the, the first thing I thought of was this is kind of reminds me of those like uh, Conan the Barbarian movies where the the heads are on the top of the spears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, this looks like it's like at the gate, like at the entrance, mm -hmm. like enter if you dare. I mean, this helmet has seen some hits. This thing has been through many of play. Oh, yeah. the, the, the story I'm seeing here, the hits, the firemen, the decal, the clips are torn to, the, the, the visor clips are kind of torn up a decent bit. I'm going to say this is either somebody who's in the trenches. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or somebody who's very aggressive, we'll say. I love it. I love it. And every one of the pictures look tough. It's on gnarly wood. It's on metal. This is great stuff. Title image photo right here. And you know, and this one is going to get a score based on the fact that it is a used helmet that's been through the ring. Yeah, I yeah. love the story that it tells. I'm going to give this, for this type of helmet, the highest score of the day. We're not going to compare it to that University of Virginia helmet that was super eight. clean. Eight. I'm going I'm to go with, I'm going to go with an 8.1. Yeah, Steve. yeah, yeah. Well deserved. Let's and you know it. what, man? That's it. That's all we got. Yep, that's all we got for today. Yeah. So we really thank you for watching. If you want to send your photos in and have us tear them apart or talk <laughs> about them or, or whatever, uh, pics, P-I-C-S, at greengridiron.com. Send us an email. Do not send them to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, click the notification bell. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.